Well, this here is our first Chromium controller. It wasn't called that then, it was called a gem code instrument. What this does is performs millions of reactions in a matter of minutes. When single cell first started, there was a handful of papers. There was a lot of skepticism out there in the world. Single cell is not gonna be that important. People could analyze a few hundred cells at a time. We thought we could do a lot better. What we've done now is we've worked on a new generation of the Chromium instrument, which we call the Chromium X. And that's going to enable high throughput, million cell experiments and enable a whole new wave of discoveries that, again, is going to just add to this whole transformative revolution of single cell analysis. What that required is us developing new instrumentation, new chips, microfluidics, that are all still compatible with our existing chemistries. Our team is, it's, it's kind of hard to describe in words. Very smart, very driven. People tell you that it's impossible. We get interested. The greatest challenges were centered around trying to push the envelope on our performance for the instrument itself. There were some areas that we wanted to improve and getting those areas of improvement was, was a challenge because the Chromium is such a good product. We collaborate across all disciplines to develop the instrument. But when they all come together, you get this hole that has everything included. For my team, manufacturing engineering, design work around the consumables, automation that we use in manufacturing to produce those consumables, engineering group, the design of the instrument, the software team that's developing the software for that instrument is included, biochemistry and the assay development groups, all working together to come up with a single product. Everybody has a voice, and so we listen. We're not afraid to make changes, change directions. We are developing and continuing to make a big impact on science. I'm excited about the Chromium Max because I think this makes single cell analysis available to everyone.